Well, it has a cute little face. It's cuddly. It fits right into the palm of your hand. Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 An exotic <laughs> animal. That's all the rage, all the craze right now. As the newest family pet, tonight we take you inside the story. Dan tells us more about the hedgehog boom here in the U.S. That's right, guys. You know, the popularity of this has to all do with social media, what we're talking about. People posting things all over pictures, cute little pictures of this critter all over the Internet. And who can resist buying one when you see their innocent little faces? But beware, looks can sometimes be deceiving. An exciting day. Your kids are so cute. For oh the Bagleys. Goodness, they're so cute. They're about to pick up a new member of their family. Not a dog or a cat or a rodent. Hi, sweetie girl. But a mini looking porcupine. I'm going to show you how to clip her nails really oh, fast. Okay. Although this is no porcupine, this okay. is a hedgehog. She's kind of tired. The hottest new craze in pets. We're pretty excited. We've been just waiting for this little girl to get old enough to take home. The hedgehog boom. <laughs> Allie Weller is a licensed U.S. Department of Agriculture hedgehog breeder who lives in Logan. I raise hedgehogs for pets. Why? Because I love them. They're great little animals. They love to burrow. They like being feeling like really secure and covered and they like the dark because they're nocturnal. So there's Letty, Titania, Nervic, right now, Lennox, she has 10 females, Nickleby, four males, Fitzwilliam, and five babies, uh, Arita, more than she can remember on the spot. Uh, this is uh, Larry Ol's cage. This last year especially has been really big. Um, I've had a lot of people contacting me and just wanting, like, I want one now. Oh, say hi. Allie's waiting list has jumped as high as 50 people. I see a lot of <laughs> college students, a lot of people that, you know, go to school or work during the day and then want a pet they can come home to at night. Yes, these little guys may be all cute and cuddly looking, but they're not for everybody. In fact, Allie doesn't just send them home with anybody. A lot of people go into it thinking that they're going to be just like the pictures on the internet. They're going to be super cuddly and super sweet, but it takes a lot of work to bond with a hedgehog. Their trust takes longer than a lot of other animals because their quills can be really intimidating, and when they are cranky, they're pretty cranky. How do you think about my hedgehog? Back at the Bagley home. There it goes. They've been preparing for this day for months. Buffy the tunnel, Buffy the tunnel. They built their new hedgehog named Quill Pricklebottom Bagley. A two-room suite equipped with several hand-sewn blankets and snuggle sacks. Yeah, we want to be good pet owners. <laughs> the perfect kind of family to take in the latest popular exotic yeah, pet. That's my girl. The ultimate goal of this hedgehog breeder. I have to be protective because they're my babies. I get very, very attached and I only want them to go to places where I know that they're going to love them as much as I do. Now, Allie sells her hedgehogs from $150 to $250 a piece, depending on the lineage and nature of the hedgehog there. She says she also ends up rescuing a couple each month from people who find that they just cannot take care of them. Six states across the country actually ban them as pets because of them being a non-native species. Now, for more on this story and other Inside the Stories, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on Features and Inside the Story. Mark and Sean, back to you. I'm kind of hoping my kids aren't watching <laughs> that because I didn't know this was a craze. Sugar gliders yeah. have been a craze. Yeah. Hamsters, lizards, geckos. What do they eat, yeah. man? Uh, you know, they eat just basically like cat food is what they tell me that they feed them, and that's why they say it's so cheap to be able to just take care of them there. But again, as they mentioned, they're not for everybody. That's so. true. All right, Dan. Yeah. Fun story. All right, who knew? Hedgehogs are the new craze. Yes. <laughs>